either Bowling Green or Ball State. They're meeting for the third time. Both previous games decided by single digits. It's a game of runs. Ball State early. Anna Clefon, two of her 20 points. Ali Beck, first quarter horn, ties the game at 18, triggering a 9-0 Ball State run. But G BG battles back with runs of their own. Jocelyn Tate with the steal and the score and one. Falcons down three at the half. Now, Alyssa Brett hardly used in the first half because of foul trouble. She would come off the bench and make an immediate impact in the second half. Nyla Hampton, the Brett, the wing three. And then Brett just getting started from outside the arc. One, two, three, four three-pointers for Brett. She would lead the Falcons with 16 points. She did foul out with three minutes to go. Allison Day puts the game away, though. Falcons up by nine. It stays that way. 70-61, your final. That's right. One more time. The Battle of I-75. Round three between the Falcons and the Rockets. Joel Sebastianelli rejoins us from Cleveland. It seems fitting. Toledo and Bowling Green, the two atop the MAC all year, two of the closest, fiercest conference rivals, get one more crack at each other in the MAC championship game. And after one more week, what's one more night to wait? Well, I think we literally played them a week ago. So I think all of Northwest Ohio is thrilled, right? Because we've both got great fan bases. Just we all traveled all the way here to <laughs> play 30 minutes when we're 30 minutes away from each other. And it's fitting how the Falcons got here, winning the rubber match over a Ball State team that's matched them blow for blow all season. Basketball is just a game of runs, so uh, we went on a little bit of run, they answered with a run, and then we at halftime, or it was the beginning of the second quarter, we were just like, that, that's what Coach exactly was saying, is how they were going to go on a run, and we just got to respond back to that. Alyssa Brett made the most of her 16 minutes. Sitting in limbo with foul trouble for most of the game, she returned in the fourth to sink two quick threes. 11 of her 16 points came in the final frame. I mean, those threes were huge for our team and for her to have the right mentality of being able to go in the game and, and not be frustrated, um, but be composed. And, uh, you know, that was that was a critical part of the game for us. Allison Day added 10 points, a couple key buckets after Brett fouled out with three minutes to go. Jocelyn Tate and Lexi Fleming also scored in double digits. The strength of our team all season has been our team. Amy Velasco, uh, you know, I think Liv Hill came in, made some big buckets. Um, Jocelyn was in early foul trouble, but same thing. I just saw a lot of growth in her tonight. And the question everyone will be asking next, how strong are these two teams in the championship on the floor and on paper? You know, if, if I got a vote, yeah, I'd for sure put us both in. BG didn't come here to ask, what if? Well, I always say we got to be us, and that's, um, that's what we got to do. We got to play our defense. We got to play our offense. Um, and yeah, just be us. This is the first time since 2010 Toledo and BG have played in the championship game. BG has won all three previous matchups. In Cleveland, Joel Sebastianelli, BCSN. Should be very interesting. Tomorrow morning, 11 a.m., Toledo Bowling Green. Of course, we'll have full coverage of that game for you tomorrow night with Joel and Justin Feldkamp. We'll be in Cleveland covering the UT men and women, both going for a MAC title.